So let's talk about characters in Storyline. The character packs are a really good way to add some life to your course, and they're super easy to work with. You can put them on your slides or your slide layers, even on your slide masters or your feedback masters. So to insert a character, you just come up to the Insert tab and then click Character, and you'll see a few different choices here. We're going to look at the illustrated characters first. These illustrated characters all come with your Storyline license. There are 20 men and 20 women, and as I'm scrolling through here, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of diversity in terms of their age, their skin color, even their clothing style. So when you find a character that you want to use, like let's just say maybe we want to use this guy, this preview area over here is going to change to reflect your selection. And then you can also customize his expression. Like if I wanted to make him look like he's surprised or talking or thinking, you can change his pose by clicking on the pose button. And I love all these options. There's just so many possibilities. Like if you wanted to maybe make it look like he's pointing something out on a screen or on a whiteboard, or maybe you want him to be holding something, or there's also even several seated positions down here at the bottom, and those are really useful as well. So when you've made all your selections, you can even change the direction that he's looking. Like if you want him to be facing left or to the front, or to the right and that's really helpful if you've got maybe a scenario where you want it to look like two characters are you know talking to each other so once you click insert the character is going to get placed on your slide and from here you can you know resize the character you can move the character around you can do anything to this character that you could do with any other image even like adding image effects like up here in the format tab you know we've got several options for effects like if maybe you wanted to add a shadow you could do something like that. Lots of options there. And the cool thing about these illustrated characters is that they're vector images. So even if you wanted to make him super huge, that image is still going to look great at any size, no matter what you do to you know, make it bigger or smaller. So let's get rid of him for a second and look at the photographic characters too. Come back up to the Insert tab, and this time we'll choose Photographic. When you buy Storyline, it's going to come with a complete set of poses for this character in the upper left here. She's called Atsumi. But you do have the choice of adding any of these other characters as separate purchases if you like. And for every character, you'll find, if you click the Pose button here, there's dozens of different poses that you can choose from here. And for each pose that you pick, there's also an option down here in the lower right to crop it the way you want. So you can choose headshot, you can choose torso, or you can choose the full size of the image. And then once you insert the character, just like the illustrated characters, any photographic character that you insert is going to be treated just like an image. So you can do things like, you know, maybe customize the cropping a little bit more. If you wanted to, you know, crop to a very specific place, you could do that. You could resize her. And again, because these are really high quality images, they really do look nice even if you make even if you make that image really big like this. She's still looking, there's no degradation. She still looks really nice. I also wanted to mention that these characters can be used in lots of different ways to make your course more engaging and interactive. And one way that you can do that is by creating states for your characters. Characters can have states just like other objects in Storyline. For example, here's a slide where I added a couple of states to this character. If we open up our states panel down here, you can see I added a state that makes her expression and her pose change, and it's also got a little bit of text next to her, and then another state that is yet a different expression and pose and a little bit different text. And so in this example, what I did is I have these buttons on the slide, and I added a trigger to each button that's going to cause the character to switch to one of those states that I created. So if we preview this, you can get a look at what I mean. So if the learner clicks this button, you can see her expression and her pose changes. We see a little text. If we click this button, we see a different pose, different expression, and different text. So that's just a super simple example of some of the things that you can do with characters. So if you're curious about more possibilities, Definitely explore the tutorials, not only on characters, but also on triggers and states. And, you know, have some fun with experimenting with these characters. And as always, if you have questions or you need a little bit more guidance, just jump into the forums and share a little bit about what you'd like to do, and we can point you in the right direction.